So we move on to Huddersfield tomorrow night, Wednesday evening at the Emirates. Now our home form this season has been absolutely spectacular. We have won every single game we have played in the league at the Emirates. And if you take that back to last season, it's actually a run of 11 straight wins. So we're sort of turning this into a fortress at the minute. Yes, I know we've got bigger fish to fry um, on Saturday when we play Man United. But in the meantime, we do have Huddersfield and they're flying quite high considering they're a newly promoted team. They're five points ahead of the drop zone and they've played some really good football this season. Now, what do I expect from the game? Um, well, they've just played Man City and Man City scrambled a victory in the end. Um, although there was a stat in that second half of the Man City game against them. Um, I think it was about 25 minutes into that second half the completed passes stat. Um, the completed passes at that point of the second half was Manchester City 286, Huddersfield 16. That's not even a completed pass every minute. Um, so that tells you the story of how that game went. They were chasing shadows for a lot of that game. They defended really, really well. They took the lead against Man City, but ultimately Man City's squad shone through and they pulled out the victory. Now, the way I see this game going against us is they did a lot of work without the ball against Manchester City. So I'm expecting them to come to the Emirates. They're going to sit deep and compact. They're not going to go gung-ho. They're not going to try and play football against us, I don't think, um, which is what they've done against most teams this season, and credit to them for doing that. But I see it going the other way. I think that they're going to come to the Emirates and park the bus, and try and nick something on the break, or just take a nil-nil if they can. Um, the only problem with that is, is like I said, they did get the run around against Man City without the ball. They are going to be absolutely knackered if they try and do a similar type of thing against us. We're going to uh, totally dominate possession. We're going to be working our little pretty triangles and our pass and move. And ultimately, that's where I see us winning this game. The fact that they're going to tire into the second half. And I think that's when we then step it up a gear and go and get 2-3-4 against them. Or at least that's what I'm expecting anyway. Um, my team for this game is as follows. I am going with Petr Cech in goal. I am going with Kalasanak at left wing back. I thought he'd done really well against Burnley. I thought he was arguably our best player. Although in my opinion, that wasn't difficult because I don't think any of them covered their self in glory. But ultimately, we got the win in that game. So that's all that matters. Right wing back, I'm going with Hector Bellerin, um, <laughs> only because Tabucci ain't good enough. Um, I do think that um, something I was talking to with a friend of mine the other day about our right back position, we really should go out in January and get a right back because there is nobody pushing Dibucci, um sorry, Bellerin at the minute, other than Dibucci. And I'm still not convinced by Dibucci at all. I'm not convinced he's even good enough for Arsenal. Yes, he's looked good in the Europa League, but it's the Europa League. But yeah, that's my right back for the game. I'm going with Hector Bellerin. My three centre-backs. This is where I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going with Nacho Monreal. I think he's been absolutely fantastic this season. I'm going with Mustafi. And looking forward to the Man United game on Saturday, this is where I'm going to change things up. I'm going to put Per Mertesacker in there. One thing I noticed against Man City is that Huddersfield have got a massive team. Their players are huge, some of them. So they're going to try and get some balls into that box. I don't think Koscielny is the best header of a ball. Add into that the fact that he's got the reoccurring Achilles injury. Trying to play three games in six days, I think, may be a step too far. So I'm going to put Mertesacker in that position. Into midfield, I am going to go with Granit Xhaka. Um, he started off really poorly this season. He's slowly getting into his form and he's start, starting, to, starting to impress me the last few games with his passing and, and even his tackling. Some of the tackling he's been doing has been really decent. Um, next to him, I'm going to put Aaron Ramsey. That doesn't change. Them two have been really good this season. Um, this is where I am going to change it again. Um, the two behind the striker. I am going to put Alexis Sanchez in there. 
I thought Alexis Sanchez was poor against Burnley. I think he's been poor generally most of this season. But he can win a game on his own, and that is why I will put him in the team. If we are coasting the game, then I would sub him off. Um, next to him, I am going to put Jack Wilshere. I think Jack Wilshere deserves a start in a Premier League game. I think he came on at the weekend and looked really good. I thought he um, he was trying things. And um, yeah, I think he deserves a start in this game. And then I am going to go with Alexander Lacazette for this game. It's a Premier League game. He's our Premier League striker by the looks of it. I want to see this guy start in this game. And again, if we are winning this game comfortably into the second half, then this is a game where I wouldn't mind him being substituted off with Man United in mind. Anyway... That's my 1-11 to for this game. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, absolutely smash the fuck out the like button. That always helps me along my way. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Where the fuck you been? Hit the notification bell. And you can follow my Instagram as well, LeeGunner82. And my Twitter is also the same, LeeGunner82. I'm going with a score prediction for this game of Arsenal 3, Huddersfield 0. Laters, peeps.